I've had airdrops before, but not a 20 ETH airdrop. Let me tell you how crazy that is and why it is still early to get into Artifact. You guys know the drill. I give out NFTs here all the time. Subscribe, comment, and like, and I'll pick a winner to give out an NFT to from this video. Over the weekend, Artifact dropped 40,000 items to the collectors, 20,000 monoliths, and 20,000 loot pods. The monoliths, we don't know. Everyone thinks it's a robot companion for your clone X. We don't know what it is. However, it's sitting at 4.8 ETH today. It was at six the day before. It'll probably climb, climb back up. So basically around 15,000 per box, we got three of these bad boys. We only got two space pods because we sold a human before the space pod drop. I don't know what I was thinking, but I got back in with the Lime Gang afterwards. So we got two space pods sitting at 1.5 ETH, 4,700 bucks each. Here's what's crazy about it. The space pod that you just saw was an airdrop for the Clone X, right? Well, this loot pod is an airdrop on your previous airdrop. You don't need a Clone X. If you bought a space pod, they took a snapshot and they gave you a free loot pod worth about $2,800 each, about one ETH each. Let's just add up the airdrops, three boxes, two space pods, two loot pods. That brings our total to $58,950 in today's price. There it is, Model Y, 58,990, got airdropped onto my head, bam. If you're thinking about selling your boxes and space pods for a Tesla, I highly recommend against that. Tesla is a depreciating asset, it takes money from you. You gotta pay insurance, maintenance, all that stuff. You might just wanna keep Artifact because they're just known to reward their holders. And that brings us to reason number one on why it's still early for Artifact and Clonex is because they reward their holders. Even crazier was the Jeff Staples OG Artifact NFTs, which got you an airdrop of a meta pigeon, which was $1 to mint. And these pigeons got up to like $50,000 before the Clone X came out. Not only that, but the projects themselves, because they're collaborations with artists, will also reward you in a different way. You potentially, or not even potentially, you got rewarded if you held an OG Jeff Staples Artifact NFT into Stapleverse. He allowed holders of his old artifact collaboration to come in and mint at a lower price, 0.1. And now the floor of that project is at, at around 0.5. If you got a subway token, it was, it's going to be worth up to 5 ETH right now. Hear me out. You buy a $500 artifact Jeff Staple NFT that got you a, a shoe, right, for 500 bucks. Then you get a meta pigeon airdropped on your head for like, you know, worth twenty to $30,000. Those two allow you to mint six clone X's. Let's not get into clone X valuation. And then those two will also get you to mint a Stapleverse. Imagine if you got Stapleverse and you got to mint a Subway token, which is a low chance, right? But I have two friends that got it. That's worth 19000 So from that one $500 purchase, I'm not going to do the math here because my, my head's just going to spin. You got 500 bucks turned into what? Probably a Lamborghini. Let's just start the math because I'm super curious. You started off with an artifact shoe, got you a free meta pigeon. Well, a dollar, right? Both sit at six ETH floor for now. Six times two is what? 12. And then you're able to mint uh, six clone X's. Six clone X's. They're sitting at a 14 ETH floor for right now. 14 times six, 84 ETH plus the 12 that we just talked about. 96 ETH so far. Are you still with me? Those six will get you six monoliths and six AirPods and six uh, loot pods. Let's just add it up real quickly. I got it. 98 ETH for the clones and the, the OG ones. And then the airdrops, the monolith of space pods. That equals up to 143 ETH. If you know you had the iron diamond hands and didn't sell, you know, for not even that long, less than a year, right? Multiply that by today, 3,100. That's $443,000 off of one artifact NFT if you held for the whole time. We're not taking into account if you got a subway token into Stapleverse, which you might. We're not taking the fact for the Staples 2.0 era forging event that's gonna come. We're not taking into fact that out of the six clone X's, you might've got an alien, an undead, a reptile, or more commie drip, or a human with a one-on-one -on -one mask. Woo! Same thing for Fable. If you forge Fable's shoe, you got a Fable trophy, and a Fable trophy got you access to mint clone X's as well. So that same example I gave for Staple was also for Fable. And not only that, Fable's new project called Fable World is going to launch, we don't know when, but because we know it's gonna launch, Fables have been rising steadily. Not many people don't know, but Fable is the OG space capsule. He's a space capsule before the new space capsules even came out. And none of it has been forged. None of the Fable drips have been forged. They will have a forging event. Not only is Fable just you know prolific in his own art, but he's teamed up Artifact. This kid, let me tell you this, to me, he's a new Banksy. He's a new Beeples 2.0, super relatable. 
uh, the only thing holding him back is just his age. He's going to grow his legacy. I think, not think, I'm super bullish on Fei Wu. If you want to not financial advice, this potentially could get you a white list spot. We don't know what that mint's going for. We don't know the rarities there, but we heard in the Twitterverse that Mr. Misunderstood will be one of the staples in that project. If you don't know Mr. Misunderstood, definitely a piece that I want to get for myself, regardless NFT or not. Great piece of art. I will drop you a little bit of alpha here. If you go to artifact.com slash Feiwo, you can go down to the Shu Redemption Checker. You can put in a token, you click check, and it'll tell you right there. It'll say it in green if it's already been claimed and red if it hasn't been claimed yet. You want to get the shoes or drips that, well, all the drips have not been claimed. If you want to get a Feiwo shoe, Artifact OG, then you want to check it to make sure that hasn't been claimed. Remember we did that example, 440,000 if you had a staples. What if you were an OG artifact just lover and you had Feiwo and staple? You probably would have doubled that or maybe even tripled. I know people of 80 clones. That's redonkulous. Do you know people with 80 bases? Well, there are multiple people with double, maybe even triple digits of clones. Great community. Right now, there's close to 3,000 more economy drips. Another way that Artifact is rewarding their holders. We don't know if it's for sure, but pretty sure that these Murakami drips will qualify you for Murakami's own art project. He hasn't said much about it, but we know it's dropping in February. Uh, right now it's February 8th. Probably not a crazy roadmap. It's probably just going to be art because Murakami is an artist and it's just going to be art. However, we know Murakami is super popular, even more popular now because of Artifact. And maybe, just maybe, these Murakami drips will get you access whitelist into Murakami's project. Would there be another airdrop for Murakami specific? I sure hope so because I have a Murakami demon. Fable got the Fable trophy. Uh, Jeff Staples got the Meta Pigeon. Murakami, one of the iconic... Uh, Mount Rushmore type of artist collabs with Artifact. I hope they give him an airdrop specific to him as well. You are still early because you get to be a part of one of the sickest communities in NFT land. And I've been in this space for a while. I've never seen a community like this. No other project has pushed the boundaries of creativity like Clone X has. They have pushed 3D. Even to me, I want to pick up Blender to learn 3D. And a lot of community members have done that. They picked it up not knowing anything, not even know how to probably make a like YouTube video. They picked up Blender and not only are they picking it up to outfit their own, you know, space pods, but they're they're selling it and they're thriving for other Clonex holders. I mean, check out this one. This might be copyrighted, so you know, maybe stay away from copyrighted stuff. But Morikami spinning in the loot pod, that's some creativity, right? People making clothes for Clonex members, and the clothes is not even out yet. Outfitting them like just full on deck out, top, bottom. And they're airdropping it to people for free. You don't have to go too complicated. Art by Kriya is branding himself as the IKEA for the Clone X world. Made a lamb gang soda. I couldn't get the free airdrop, but I might buy one for like five dollars. You don't need to sell for fifty, but you have a thousand people buying five dollars of your stuff. You can get in on Clone X. I'm jumping a little bit ahead here. I was going to give this on my bonus tip, but if you don't have Clone X, start designing stuff. Sell it to Clone X holders. You probably make enough money to get a Clone X. Not gonna lie, probably someone's doing that right now. Community might not be a strong enough word for it. They're creating a whole economy on top of their community. They're creating a whole country. They're a Clone X country. If you don't know, when you buy NFT, you also buy into community. That's why people buy into Board of Yacht Club because they want to be with Steph Curry. You know, they want to be with Justin Bieber. The Clone X community is top notch. Alphas, whales. I'm in so many private discords with these Clone X holders, and it's gotten me so much in return just from alpha knowledge not only that being on a whitelist for special projects these guys are really you know dived into the nft world they're really dialed in and because of that i got so much benefit so much insider information that i wouldn't have if not for the clone x community another reason that you're still early is because this is not just a pfp project not even a metaverse project it's art people buy nft art all the time i mean check this out horn rams robot murakami drip airing i mean it's got everything. Artistically, it stands alone. Each Clone X is like picturesque. You can hang it up anywhere and people come in and just be like, dang, that looks fresh. That looks good. I don't know what it is, but I like it. More comics and artists. Feiwo is an artist. Staples is an artist in his own right. And they're going to do collaborations with different artists as well with the space capsule. So you're going to see uh, just a ton of art within the artifact world and it blends well with fashion. So it's not just art, it's art and fashion. And we know that stuff carries a lot of weight. And lastly, utility. We know Artifact is big in the augmented reality. We really strongly believe that there is a robot pet for your avatar, your Clonex avatar that's gonna come out of this box. 
we don't quote me on it, but you know, augmented reality itself is useful. I, I actually have newspapers of augmented reality and I check it out because it's really cool. It's a, because you're able to embed video into your newspaper. How they're gonna incorporate a, uh, um, augmented reality into the artifact metaverse, I don't know, but I know that there's use case for it. When we talk utility, how can we not give you a sneak peek into the space pods? And I'm gonna give you a sneak peek into the new loot pod as well. They're connected through portals. You can go through the door, but that's pretty boring. Let's open up a portal. Let's go over here. Got my monolith spinning. Push escape, open portal. Open portal and bam, I can walk through a portal into my monolith. How sick is that, guys? I got a spinning monolith there. I got my artwork up here. I don't have a ton of 3D stuff, but I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on it. Let's give you a sneak peek really quick of upstairs and what we got upstairs. So you're an artist. You can sell your work. You don't need to put artifact stuff. You can put your own work. People can walk up to it, bam, and they could take a look. Look at that link down there. They can go to your stuff and buy it right away. Post it on Twitter, your YouTube. You can definitely do well, even not owning an artifact. Your entry could be a loot pod, which is less than the ETH right now. It's a place for you to showcase. And, and let me tell you this. NFT people got a lot of time on their hands. They're in NFTs all day. They will gladly buy your $5, you know, Lime Gang um, um, can or a rug. Oh, I'm getting a rug from a friend. He's got a, he's giving me a Dragon Ball Z rug, guys. Uh, not a uh, Dragon Ball, if you're watching this, um, it was given to me. I didn't make it. There's so much happening, but there's so much that's going to come. Shout out to Dr. J. I'll put his link down below to this tweet. Who's going to talk about what's coming in Clone X world. Let's dive in. Another utility artifact token. They've been planning it since 2021. And down here, he just has screenshots of his conversations with one of the three founders. Two, Clone X interactivity. You or they said they said you might have a pigeon pet. Everything's going to be interactive. That's an OG artifact. You could have a pigeon pet. And then there he has a screenshot of him and Zaptio talking about it. Stapleverse could be a strong play here. Could be. Number three, sandbox world game being built metaverse utility. We know metaverse gets thrown around a lot, but you just saw my space pod and loot pod. That is absolute utility. You can sell your stuff there. There's a purpose for it, right? And number four, of course, we showed the, the Cyrus space pods. Pretty soon you get to burn them. You get to burn them and make a mansion. And pretty soon they'll be connected. You go walk into other people's pods. You could probably walk in there as your clone X. I mean, it's going to connect with 3D glasses and augmented reality. Maybe I could walk in with my AI glasses and it's crazy, guys. You know, Disney's working on a metaverse tent, right? Where there's a tent you don't need to put on glasses. And then the tent itself is like projected. You're in the metaverse there. I mean, they put a patent on that, but I hope that comes to um, Artifact and Clonex and Nike as well. Back in September 2021, which is like almost half a year ago, of course, anyone could just build sandbox stuff and walk around. But you know, Artifact stuff is just going to be next level. They were just testing this out. Artifact, and they work with, you know, Daz 3D for their stuff. It's going to be fire. And lastly, just some bonus thoughts for on me. If you're going to get an artifact, I think it's still early. A monolith is only 5 ETH. If you can't afford that, get the space pod. That's only like 1.5. And then you can't afford that, just get the loot pod underneath uh, ETH. So there's entry levels for each person. We know that they reward not only the OG holders, but they also reward the airdroppers too. Like the airdrop of the pigeon got rewarded with more clone X. The airdrop of the Fable world got rewarded with more Clone X. And the airdrop of the Space Pod got rewarded with a Loot Pod. So don't count out the Loot Pod just because it's an airdrop. And don't count out some of the OG drops here as well. Uh, if I may, if you try to hit three birds with one stone, then I would recommend a Fable, personally, that's me, or a Staples. A Staples would get you the next forging. Uh, well, it's too late for the whitelist for Stapleverse. That already happened. Uh, but it will also get you exposure to Artifact as well, right? And potentially clones as well. Faywell, on the other hand, does hit three or four birds, one stone. Forging has not happened yet with Faywell Drip, so that is a plus. Uh, there's some shoes that haven't forged yet also, so on the next forging event, even the staples, you might be able to forge a Faywell shoe, and then you might get exposure to Faywell World. That's the second uh, bird. And third, of course, the exposure, because this is both an OG Genesis artifact, but not only that, it's an OG Genesis Faywell as well. If everything's outside your reach, pick up Blender, design some stuff. I'll have your boy. I'll buy some five, ten dollar pieces, maybe even a hundred dollar piece if you make it look nice. And I'll put it in my space pod. I'll put it in my loop pod, and I'll tweet it out to my friends. Just get in there. There's there's really creative things that you can do. They said on Twitter World that they believe that multi millionaires will be created just off the economy of Clonex itself. I truly believe that. And you can take those skills and apply it elsewhere as well. On Cyber has different. 
factories and galleries where other people want to post different things and people are just creating some amazing amazing three-dimensional even music driven nfts that you can showcase in your galleries so blender is something that i'm definitely going to look into for 2022 and we got a lot of time guys you're still early still early if you think i'm crazy saying that we're too early well check out one of my tweets and predictions nike and artifact studios upcoming super bowl commercial will be epic training montage of music of a major nike sports athlete camera pans down to reveal first ever Nike and Artifact shoot in history and first forging event of that shoot. What I'm trying to say is that Artifact hasn't even flexed their muscles. Muscles being Nike muscles, you know, the guy standing in the back like bodyguards. Nike has amazing athletes. Let's just check out Ronaldo. Let's just be speculative. 400 million followers. If he had an Artifact shoe, oh woo. And that's just sports athletes. We haven't talked about Nike flexing their muscles for advertising and marketing to reach globally of the forging of different items. There's gonna be a lot happening, guys. It's just the beginning. You really think Artifact's going to announce something in the beginning of the year and not say do anything else for the rest of the year? They might actually do that because once they launch, they didn't say anything for like two, three months. And then they start doing emojis and cryptic hieroglyphics and stuff like that. I'm not mad at that. I'm, I'm happy. If, if people want to, you know, paper hand or, you know, not paper hand's the wrong word, um, sell and, and capture, get a Tesla Y or whatever it is, then go do that. I'll be on the back end picking up Artifact because we know we've seen how Artifact pays and continues to pay and continue to pay their holders. Clonex family, if I'm missing anything, please let me know. As you know, we can get really in-depth into traits and rarities and finding good opportunities for people to get in. Different game theory and different roadmap projections. Just let me know your thoughts overall. I can't be the only one super bullish on Clonex. If, if I am, then call me the crazy one. But I did call the Fable pump before the pump. In fact, I didn't take my own advice. Had I gotten 10 Fables, I'd be sitting at a pretty island right now. Don't worry about me. First world problems. I'm going to be reporting on Clonex this whole year. So make sure you subscribe comment and like this video also for a chance to win a free nft too bad we can't ask you to drop your clone x picture down below but do that on my twitter links down there stay healthy stay fire peace